Marvel's Avengers considers comic book women too sexy. And I guess they've made the executive decision to cover them up. So, no sexy skins, if you're a woman, I guess, because if you're a man, high five my brother. Welcome to the fun club. On today's agenda, not shirts, that's for damn sure. If in the minds of Crystal Dynamics, women showing skin reduces them to sex objects, I'm so sorry for girls who put effort into your physical appearance and maybe take pride in your body, because only men are allowed to, you know, show off what they got. You'd be a slut to do so. But men, we're above all that. And when we want to have fun, that's what we do. Men. Marvel Avengers is here to say, women, cover the hell up. You deserved it. Look at what you're wearing. Man meat good, lady meat bad. Also, just look at his physique. I'm a straight man, and he's easily my favorite Captain America skin I've seen so far. Easily beats the default someone's dad cosplaying in riot gear look he had going on. Until Namor shows up, of course. In that speedo. But I get it. Lady thighs, stomach, and cleavage must be really triggering for people desperate to keep these kinds of double standards alive because they're too stupid to see that they're only reinforcing the very differences in treatment that people claim to be fighting against. Did you know Spider-Man has an underwear skin in his game? Not a big deal because he's a man, so it's cool. Pretty dope, actually. You gotta unlock it. You gotta earn it. But I'm sure people might suffer a stroke if a girl in a bikini were put into this game like it's the equivalent of throwing her in the kitchen with a rolling pin and an apron. Crystal Dynamics, I feel like you're some gangster dissing my fly girl, so I'ma hit you with one of these. Some of these outfits make sense with the personality of the characters wearing them. And you're robbing them of that personality when you choose to separate them from it. It's so weird. You know, many of the women that I know look damn good. Whether they're chunky, curvy, fit, or skinny, they don't feel the need to cover up. And they like when other girls don't allow other people to dictate what they can and can't wear. Because newsflash, the girls that I know, they like themselves a good looking woman as well. But I guess I just know level-headed, attractive women. Are the comic outfits excessive? Of course, on occasion. But without them actually selling them comics, these properties may not have survived long enough to get this far. Am I saying that they all belong in the damn game? Of course not. Are these outfits what? Too revealing? To who? To someone younger than the property itself? Less relevant than the property will ever be? So they're trying to change one gender's outfits? Yeah, also hoping to get people to pay premium challenge cards for skins. Listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's been working long before some of these people who are trying to put their stain, their signature upon this, you know what I mean? But over time, you're probably just creating a bump that'll end up being smoothed over. This has been done so many times before you. You really don't need to reinvent the wheel. We've seen it before too, most recently with Mortal Kombat. And look where it got them. They trying too late to regather what they lost. Learn from the mistakes that this industry has made. I remember them saying stuff like, a girl wouldn't be naked for a fight. Bitch, what? <laughs> Have you seen a girl fight like ever, like in your life? Yeah, you haven't seen that yeah, taking off your shoes and earrings or shirt energy while they preparing it. Your feet don't... We, the true tragedy is I feel that a male character would sooner get an old school female hero outfit than these girls ever would in this game. And what a popular skin that would be as well, man. You'd, I'd buy that, you know, a, a lady outfit for a dude, come on. Because men, you know, and we can have fun. Men, okay? I'm already eyeing that Zebra Thor outfit. But the poor queens are poor Marvel women, the strongest heroes in the Marvel Universe with devastating unmatched power that effortlessly outclasses many of their male counterparts, power rivaled only by their terrifying good looks, which some of them knew how to use 
to manifest an advantage in certain situations. Crystal Dynamics, all I can say is I hope you don't sacrifice dope skins at the altar of toning down characters that are a little bit too much, but only the women, you know? Or are you going to start putting shirts on all the hulks, you know? Stop. Get some help.